Okay. Hello and welcome to Wicklow Good News with me, Gillian Gotzel. Today my guest is Paul Jacob, who is the CEO and founder of Smart Storage. Hello and welcome to the show, Paul. How are you? It's good to talk Brilliant. to you. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Well, we're having you on today because you're a businessman and you know, you, you've been on the Dragon's Den, you've got a whole bunch of awards under your belt and everything. But the reason why we approached you was that we saw this rather cool invention, modification, innovation that you're providing for people to having to work at home. It's called a 60 second desk. Do you want to explain how it came about and what it is? Yeah, um, I suppose, uh, you know, I, I run a business here in, in County Wicklow uh, we employ 70 people across Ireland and across the UK. We have about 25 staff based in our office here in Newtown, Mount Kennedy. And like every other business owner, um, around the start of March, the COVID pandemic news begins to really creep into your business and how you're going to handle stuff. So we began to put people from around the 7th of March, we started putting people to work from home. Um, and one of the first problems we came across immediately is that we had to give them materials, uh, computers, uh, everything else. And then you began to see that people were struggling to work from the kitchen table. Um, one person within the office, um, there was effectively three companies trying to work from her kitchen table because wow. her husband and her son were also working from home. So you had this thing of where I suppose it was like a mini industrial estate in her kitchen of people trying to work and, and keep things going. So um, uh, one of the things that, that, that came to me straight away is that we needed to provide some sort of desks for people. But um, I don't think anyone would have appreciated it if I had to arrive up with your standard office desk to their house and said, here, can you put this in the kitchen and leave it there for the next six to 12 months? Um, so it's too I, big apart from anything else. Most office, even you know, the ones you buy in Ikea, they, there's still quite a lot of space involved. Well, there's a lot of space. And then, you know, the ones with Ikea, you probably need a master's in engineering to figure out how they go together. Um, so I actually sketched out a very simple design of a desk that we could assemble by interlocking all the parts. So there's only five parts in it. Um, and we initially designed it to give to our own staff. And uh, then uh, we said, well, let's, let's just throw it out there and see what the thoughts on it. And we've had uh, generally a lot of interest in it. And I suppose uh, the good side of the pandemic is that it's actually given us another product to begin to take to the market, which is really, I suppose, very current at the moment of addressing the challenges that everybody has with trying to work from their home, but still keep it a house. I, mean, I think one of the points you made is very true about many people at the kitchen table. It could be, I say, three companies. It could be children trying to study. And it's also meant to be, you know, your family home, perhaps where you have your dinner or your meals. Or, and then I haven't finished working yet, but dinner has to be served. So there's a lot of problems there. And I know I work from home. So I know the difficulty of trying to separate home from, from work and walk away yeah. from it. Um, and I know, too, as well, that um, the, the actual design of itself, there's a couple of neat things. You have invented... Um, a, a design you can put your your phone or your ipad on for zoom calls that's <laughs> yeah, so clever is well what we decided is that like when we when we designed it out i then kind of tried to say well look what do we need and everybody is zooming everybody is uh, using every sort of digital technology going so then i kind of thought okay we need to accommodate this so what we just designed very simply within the desk is there's just little mini holders to hold your iphone or hold, uh, and hold your tablet We've put a, a cable tray within it as well. We've put a particular lacquered finish on the desk so that it's resistant to hot drinks so you can have your coffee on it without getting these dirty stain marks on it. And we, so we, we gave a little architectural detail to the desk so that it is a desk which works practically for your house, but actually you don't mind having it in your house. It, it's, quite, it's, it's not the ugliest thing to look at. It's quite pretty, it's, it, it works very functional. And at the end of every day, you can actually just fold it down, close it down and slide it under your bed or behind the couch and it's gone for the day. So you get your house back. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, that's a really neat thing. It, like, it just collapses and under the bed 
and it's just it's gone and you know you you, you have your family home back again it's also um made from sustainable irish wood so and it's irish made and designed and irish wood is all yeah fully well we uh, i suppose one of the things that we're very proud of is that um we manufacture even with our understair storage that we've been supplying for the last um 10 years and like our understairs products have gone all around the world uh, uh the one that we're kind of i suppose our furthest the field at the moment with the understairs is we've shipped uh, flat pack units as far as the Falkland Islands. Um, wow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so I haven't heard of those since the 1980s, but we've sent units there now. Um, so, um, but we manufacture all of our units, including our understairs and now our desk down in our factory in Tipperary. Um, so we manufacture, manufacture them in Carrick on shore. Um, we manufacture, um, so we're really proud of the fact that all of our product is manufactured locally. Uh, I live here in, in County Wicklow and uh, we have our main office base here um, where all of our sales and all of our logistics and that. And then we have our, uh, our sub crews across Ireland and then across the UK on it. But you know, County Wicklow is the nerve center for the, the main element of the company. And then all manufacturers carry that down in Tipperary. And it's kind of nice to note that um uh, you have a lot of your, your storage company. It's amazing to think that a storage company is quite a simple idea, you think, and you mm. have so many employees. But I love that you have also grown your storage to fit COVID. Now, the, I disagree with one of them. You put your books in the storage. I like my books on my bookshelf. <laughs> so I disagree with that one. But it's, it's, you have a point that people have gym equipment at home. They're getting into cleaning. <laughs> Don't know about that either. That, that wouldn't suit me. But, and you have kind of this Amari Kondo approach where, okay, let's, let's have your stuff in the house if you need to. Let's put it away. And you're right, there's a lot more pressure on people because they can't go to the gym. Their, their gym is their front room. So where are you going to put your, your bits and pieces, you know, your, your mats? Stick them under the stairs. Well, I suppose I work on the basis that I live in a semi-detached house uh, and I've got two daughters. The understair storage came out of that idea originally is that I had chaos with, you know, um, living with uh, three three women in a house, a wife and two daughters. Uh, it was to an extent, I could see it as they were growing, that our house was not actually designed to accommodate the storage requirements for a growing family. Growing and family, so, good, yeah. <laughs> and so I actually kind of ended up designing the understairs. The very first one went into our own house and then kind of got, again, like the desk element, it got the feedback from, custom, from people, friends of mine who turned around and said, I really like that would you do it in our house? Now it's turned into a business that has supplied 45,000 units um, across Ireland, across the UK, the US, into Europe, as I said, down as far as the Falkland Islands. And now we've kind of designed a desk and we've put it out there in the market. Um, we're sending them to the UK, we're sending them around Ireland. It's apartment owners, it's people with multiple uh, home workers in their house. If, if we think of I suppose what COVID has done to, I think it's going to be, sometimes I suppose it's only when you look back to see what's happened that you realize it has been a, a massive change moment. And if you think of it since the start of the industrial revolution, we've worked on this principle of where um, you go to a place of work to work, um, be it a factory or an office. And in the last number of years, I suppose, um, working from home has, was viewed as a luxury that somebody would get. Um, and in March, it became an emergency necessity for a company to sustain that, can we put people working from home? Now we're looking at it into a sort of a more medium term reality. And like we welcomed today all of our staff back um, all of, our, all of our full operation has come back working now. Some of our staff had been on the wage subsidy scheme for the last while, but since Monday, all of our operations in Ireland have opened back up again. So we today had a welcome meeting with all of our staff and uh, welcome them back. We're all still working from home. And one of the messages that we've given to them is that this is a change moment. And we now want to be able to develop flexibility into how people work. So. At the moment, everybody has to work from home, but I want to again move it to the point of where let them work from home, work from the office. And then we may even move to the point of where 
we can actually begin to dictate our own work hours. Because if I just, if I deliver on the performance, fantastic. And maybe now we can create a much better quality of work life in the future um, out of this. And that maybe if there is a positive that comes out of it, maybe this is one of it, is that we will, we have accelerated the work from home process by maybe five to 10 years. Or more maybe. So I talk a lot about diversity, I talk about, a lot about parents and having the flexibility to work and it's how it's so, if you're commuting and you've got children in crashes, it's, it's really, really hard. But by the same token, if you improve a workspace by allowing flexible working, either hours or days, or whatever, people who don't, who are not parents, right, who kind of go, oh, the parents want all this, you know, softly, softly. I bet they've got hobbies. I bet they want to go and play rugby or, you know, badminton or go to the theater or, or do stuff, write books, walk in the mornings. And if we have this flexibility, like who said we have to work nine to five? And the biggest point that your desk is doing is that I have space in my little house to put, you know, I work from home. But is there a, you're a young person house sharing in Dublin? How, or you said that couple at the start who are both working with a child as well in college. You need a bit of space. And this is a really, 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 really simple invention. I, I think. Well, we, the, way I, the way I'm looking, my wife now uses the desk at home um, in her own house now. Because she's an engineer. She's working from home. Um, she was sitting at the kitchen table working. She was suffering. I don't know whether you've heard the phrase COVID back pain. I read about that? it on your website. <laughs> so it's here already. Um, and employers are going to have to be aware of this because I think in the next six, 12 months, if we don't address this properly, the kitchen table is not ergonomically designed to work from on an ongoing basis. And that's why we're getting a pain in the back. With You'll the have to combine it with a chair that's ergo, 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 ergonomic. Ergonomic, yeah. yeah. A chair as well, because obviously kitchen chairs are not meant to sit on properly. They're, they're inflexible. You know, the nice yeah. thing about your product is that it's not expensive. It's 129 euros plus VAT. Yeah. You can either have it pre-packed if you want to put it together, or you can have someone actually assemble it for you if you want. Um, well, we don't need to assemble it. It's as simple as ABC. Okay. Five parts. So what we've actually done with it now is to make it simple for everybody is we will actually deliver it to your door. So you can order on online. The desk will arrive to it, to your door. It's got five parts to it. It's got no screws, no fixings, no nothing. And the five parts slide into each other and it takes less than one minute. In fact, what we're going to do is one of the marketing things we're looking at is that I actually want to create the 60 second desk race. And I want to see that as we sell it is that who can break the time on it? Who can get the best time on the assembly of it? How about the longest time? <laughs> I might go for that one. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. No, I really like the idea. So if people want to find out where, where can they find you? Where can they get hold of you and look at your desk? So um, it's on our website, um, smartstorage.ie uh, is our website. And if you go into that, you'll find that the 60 second desk, we've got a page built for it. And you can just purchase it online from there. And then we will deliver it directly to your door within two to three days. Brilliant. You know, you're doing two things here that I really admire. One is your workforce. You're hanging on to them. SMEs are in big trouble nowadays. So you worked out ways and, and you're also innovating. So you're making your workforce still relevant. They're not going to be like stories not going to be just gone, whatever. Um, and secondly, you're helping people work from home more comfortably and more easily. So happy days. Yeah. Well, look, um, if like our priority was in March, we were very, very concerned, very nervous of what was going to happen. And I think that there is, there is a tough time ahead uh, for companies. But I think the important thing is, is that if you've got a good product and if, you, um, if you've got a product that you can uh, control the quality on, control the, the delivery, that people will want that. At the end of the day, it's, we still need to have good products in, a, in pandemics or in recessions or anything. We still need them. Um, and so it's about delivering products that work for the time and the environment that we're in at the moment. Wow. Well, I have to say, well done. I admire it very much. I have a desk or I would order one. <laughs> I may yet. I may yet. Um, but thank you very much for your time. I'm talking well, with Paul you. Jacob, who's the MD and founder of Smart Storage. You can reach him on smartstorage.ie for either storage or for these amazing 60 second desks. And thanking Marina Murphy producing and Gavin Dowd on sound. Until next time, be good, be safe and keep on helping others. Thank you very much. Thank you.